This doesn't have to be straight, which is good because it's not. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Dennis here, and I've got this log. This is pear wood. This is from my sister's house, and it, uh, they have a pear tree in the backyard, and a big branch fell down, and, and I, I found it on the ground there. And um, pear wood's really cool. It's um, very fine grain wood. It's really hard. It's harder than even oak. And it's uh, got this nice uh, creamy wood. This one's a little bit eaten with bugs and stuff. Um, I've got some more pieces, but uh, what I want to do today is just kind of cut it open and maybe make some boards with it and see what the wood looks like uh, inside. So um, I don't really have the equipment to do that. Uh, someday I'll build a, a sawmill, but um, you know that's on the list of things to do. So, um, so for now I've got this bandsaw and I'm going to try and cut this up into boards. So this is just a real quick and dirty what Dennis does kind of day because um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just screwing this to a piece of wood and I'm going to try and put it through the bandsaw and um, see if I can't cut at least a couple boards from it see what the wood looks like. So let's give it a shot. Now this is the most sturdy thing. Maybe with a few more screws it wouldn't rock around like this, but uh, I got two screws in it and um, the plywood's uh, so I have a flat piece to slide through. And I'm going to try and run my, my saw blade along the edge of the plywood for a, a reference line. As I mentioned, I haven't used this blade yet either. And I got it used and it's rusty. So we got everything going for us today. Okay, that was one of the blade guys that just fell out of my bandsaw. too bad for the first cut. Now I gotta fix my saw. Stay tuned. Alright, yeah, so um, this uh, this little blade guy fell, fell out of here, so I just gotta put it back. I don't know, maybe I forgot to tighten that one. Oh, they don't make it easy, do they? I just realized I don't even need to take my board off. I just need a reference point so that I know that I'm you know, about the same distance from the blade the whole time I'm cutting, so I don't know like a wobbly or angled cut. And then once I have my first cut, I, this is going to go away, I'll have a better... You'll see. Let's try it. Alright! Oh! Crap! Let's try that again. Well, I expected much worse, but, eh, not too bad, let's see, the straight edge, oh yeah, yeah, mmm, smells good even. You can never have too many clamps or right angles in the shop. This is a, uh, a little bracket that I made up for when I'm doing welding that I can join two pieces at a right angle, I can just clamp the two pieces and then weld it. When you're welding, uh, the heat causes things to distort and 
and if you don't have them clamped down, even after they clamp down, they can kind of spring back at you into, but um, you gotta hold things tight when you're welding. Anyway, let's see if this works. That didn't work so well, so um, what I'm going to try now is freehanding it. So I just took a, a screw and I just kind of scribed the line uh, against the table, which I know is flat. So this line should be straight. Um, and um, we're going to run it through again and see if I can get a straighter cut freehand. Oh yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah, it's way out of whack now. Here, take a look. Yeah, if you can see the, the line I, I scribed is a lot thicker on this side and yeah, over there. Yeah, so um, fence didn't work so well. Let's try it freehand. Did I mention this is the first time I've done this? So uh, feel free to comment and tell me all the ways I'm screwing this up. And uh, also, I'm only giving myself about an hour to get this done. And um, don't feel like tuning up my bandsaw. Don't feel like getting a better blade. Uh, don't feel like doing a lot of things. So, gonna live with whatever we get. It sits much flatter now on the table. That's not bad at all. So look, I even made a tool to uh, help me mark my line. So here's what we got. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I, I really like pear wood. It, it has that nice, like I said, nice creaminess in the color of the of the wood. Um, it's almost like a maple, but it's it's got a different quality too. It's just like a, a softer or or, uh, or something. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how these came out. They should make some nice projects once I once I get them all cleaned up. Uh, as always, if you liked what you saw here, you want to see more of what Dennis does, subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to like the video and comment, and we'll see you next time.